Hello, Forgester here again, and we are back for episode 16 of The Outer Worlds. So let's talk to this woman in here. I'm not sick, but if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. Okay. Guess we'll go with... Well, I'm torn between these two. But we're going to ask what she did. Seems more informative. Do anything. I'm a law abiding denizen of the ship, I swear. Yeah. Seems a little suspicious. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Ah. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Okay. Well, I guess we'll offer to help and see where that goes. Udom Bedford's the poor guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. We can do that. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Okay. Time to get out of here then. Man, that disguise came in handy, didn't it? Can I talk to her and see would she tell her any of this? Probably won't want to tell her much of it, but I can try. Any word on Jesse? Uh, what's the story with you two anyway? Let's just say she did me a favor and now I owe her. So, did you find her, or what? Uh, she's in dev with the board. Good luck. The board got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss it. Yeah, I've been there. And I guess we're heading back there. It's just over here, so it's not a big leap exactly this is halcyon news we interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products Military service does not guarantee full employment rights, tax breaks, military discount, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training, or weapons. This has been Halcyon News, your only source for news in the Halcyon Colony. Right. How do you do? Ah, how might I assist you? Uh, right. Let's talk about Jesse Doyle. Ms. Doyle owes the board a significant sum, 
Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Yeah, that might work. At least save her life. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure the price of her organs will allow a profit in that case. I expect her liver is, uh, used goods, as it were. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Nope, that is it. Definitely it. So now we need to go back and talk to her again. She just need to dump back into the uh, wait. We need to go into the medical bay, which happened to be right here. Oh. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm indentured to the board now. I ain't too elated about going exclusive, but it's better than winding up dead. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. Right. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Okay. You really don't like owing people, do you? It in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Well, sure. You won't be sorry. Or if you are, just add it to my debt and we'll figure something out. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. And we get another level up. Marvelous. Uh, well, I'm going to put more points into melee and put some into dialogue actually i'm going to put no hold on revert that get dialogue up to 30 and put the rest into melee and then because even we get another perk point uh so we need after this one more so at level 10 we get our fifth perk and then at level 12 we will get access to tier 2 and then we'll I will look through these perks I haven't really looked at all of them yet because they're not aren't relevant I don't need too much information in my head uh, yeah that having less durability laws is probably a good thing and we have an Ellie who has an officer's spline. Interesting. I've not seen that before. It's got acid damage up by the looks of it. And she has a perk available. Uh, let's increase her base health, I guess. It's probably good. Uh, set them to aggressive. I hope they when you when I tell them to uh, stay somewhere, they stay there even in combat. 
and just try to hit things from a distance if they can. Oh. Martin Callahan. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. What are you saying, Martin? That's an anti Cleo's product. My law, what have I done? The company will have my head. Both of them. This is awful. Help me, oh Lord! Gotcha. What I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. This guy's real easy to fuck with. What, what kind of depraved mind would conjure such a nightmare? Yeah. Agree to disagree. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this behind us and forget it ever happened. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Right. Uh, yeah, let's tell him about that. Shit. Oh, shit. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have job security? Right. Well, what do you have? Uh, minuscule number of weapons. Oh, wow. Moonman helmet. Ugh. Well, that's great. Don't have, I oh, do have, you have a water. We'll buy that, why not? Got plenty of money nowadays. I think that will do. Hmm. Could do with some food and drink. Looks like we might be headed into this area. Check the mattress before you settle in. Advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon, but a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested negative for performance enhancing stims. A tossball first. Coaches and referees are debating how, and if, this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. You've been listening to Halcyon News, your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Sure. Right, so this is some kind of hotel, or motel, I guess, something like that. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the rest and go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Sorry. Business has been slow. Anything to occupy the time. Uh, sure. Where's Gladys? Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Pool K. Move along. Uh, no. Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. 
You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Made without a single natural ingredient, or an oven. Just like store-bought. Okay, well, we'll get straight to business, I think. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Ooh, 10,000 bits. Well, I don't have quite that much yet. Uh, so let's go for this opportunity. Somehow I don't think Phineas' name will generate any discounts for us. Well, I find I'm in need of a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out the groundbreaker, as well as earn some bits. But if you've got qualms... No. Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Wonder what kind of haul they left behind. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Sure. Suppose we'll investigate. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more we got the corpse fighting, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Yep. Yeah. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. Know about any other jobs? Might want to acquaint yourself with Junlei Tennyson, Groundbreakers Chief. She's been trying to get a handle on this heat problem we've got. You'll find her fretting in engineering. I'd say she's a sweet girl, but law for fen someone call me a liar. Okay. Uh, do you have stuff for sale? I've got a lovely little straw pillow. Just something I tossed together. Like to keep my hands busy. Throw pillow. Oh. Mining outpost. Huh. Battered Mardet. Okay. I don't know what those are for. Got some snacks, a bunch of things that I can't buy. The shovel is restricted stock for some reason. I think I'm good. There's some vending machines we can don't have any junk to sell. S suppose we're good then. I'll look to see if there's anything particular. Oh. Uh, defense skill plus five. Ordnance control armor. I'll take that. It's an upgrade over our current set. It's pristine as well. It gives us some additional condition to work with. Looks nicer too. 
If you could toggle the helmet on and off in here, it would have been more convenient. Uh, that we can break down. Uh, the riot control helmet we can break down. Elite troop armor I don't care about because it's stealth. Uh, don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Two of those. Don't need that anymore. Break that, that down. Got another one of those. Don't need that either. That's pretty good, but not as good as the one I have. It's a level five piece of armor. Might as well break that down. That's pretty useless as well, I suppose. That's pristine, so we could... Well, it's barely worth anything. Eh. Well, that's sneak plus one, though. Eh, we'll break it down. Worker outfit I don't need. And the laboratory outfit, I can break that down as well, because whatever. Okay. Uh, the Lost Hope. Was this the bar? Yeah, this is the bar. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Spacer's Choice calls rumor of a Saltuna shortage patently baseless. The Edgewater Cannon Facility is operating at full capacity and will be delivering the gourmet saltuna fillets and other fish-based fine products that valued employees crave. Spacer's Choice representatives would like to assure everyone that they are committed to people, factual advertising, and automation. This is Halcyon News, reminding you that there's no I in news, no we in Halcyon, and no Mercury in Saltuna. Miss Ellie, er, uh, Dr. Finhill, I notice your pistol's been making a funny noise. What are you talking about? I oil it every night. Well, look here. Your slide's not recoiling fully? You might be due for a new spring. I could take a look, maybe fix it for you. Uh, sure. I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'll pay you back. Oh, no. I mean, it don't cost nothing. I got a spare spring in my pocket here, even. Everything's got a price. Hmm. There's a locked door. We need a key card for that, but by the looks of it, or higher skill. Hello, chef. Our little tribute to the mystery. Ah. Uh, right. That's not particularly encouraging, is it? Well, that took us in a nice little loop. Doesn't seem like, well, let me see if there's anything. Steve door. That's some kind of title. It's not a name. You have a name. Hey, Ellie. Having your usuals? Not today. I'm on the job. Never thought I'd see the day. Seeking relief from the heat? Till June Lay gets those radiators fixed, I've got the next best thing. Okay. Heard anything interesting? I hear tell some folk down in the townships are getting offered early retirement. Who'd think of such a thing? What would you do with all the time? Okay. What's this about the heat? The radiators, they're fucked ten ways to Sunday. And we're all sweating buckets wondering when the powers that be are gonna get around to fixing it. Yeah. Thermal control system indeed. 
pouring drinks professionally if I could. All I know is that we're cooking in our own juices here, and it's only going to get worse. Okay, well, maybe I can do something about that. That's not for me to say. But if you're feeling the urge toward helpfulness, you can find Chief Jun Lei and engineer. Right. Well, I don't. I'm not really in the mood for any drinks, so. Bye. I uh, could use a nap, though. But we might get to that later. Okay, wait. Uh. What are we doing? We have right purchase and nav key. Uh, <sighs> distress signal. Ah, okay, we're going back to Terra Two apparently. Then we had this thing, that should be doing this. Actually, right, that, that was that marker. Is that, uh, Found entries on Hawthorne's terminal in the captain's quarters regarding his attempts to turn Sam into a combat capable unit. Hawthorne planned to replace Sam's suds steeper with an acid steeper, but never picked up the part from Roseway. Well, that's. Okay, I don't know. I guess I don't know exactly where to find that acid steeper yet. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following stories. Remember Auntie Cleo, because she remembers you. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were hungry, who gave you a needle full of blood? Auntie Cleo, that's who. Have you given your auntie a hug today? You've been listening to Halcyon News. Your mandated duty as a good citizen of Halcyon. Okay. Uh, let's see what happens if I do this. I wonder if they will know. Hmm? Nobody noticed. Don't know what I need that for, but might come in handy. Hmm. Ah, well, looked like it might have been a place to potentially get up and find something, but no. Right, okay, this is where we came in. Oh, we're actually heading back this way now. I have no idea where what a Steve door is. Oh yeah, engineering. Ooh, it's very hot in here. We're not catching June Lay on a bad day. June Lay Tennyson, I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. Okay. Well, let's introduce ourselves properly. No, it isn't. It's but it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. I hope so, too.
Uh, let's be a little extra formal and see what happens. Nice to see an outsider with some working brain cells. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Well, uh, we're apparently going to Monarch, which is true. We're going to visit there eventually. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different. So welcome aboard. Dr. Fenhill. I hope you've reconsidered my offer to stay on full time. My crew are never short on dents and bruises. I'm trying to live a more balanced life. Gun in one hand, scalpel in the other. I already knew it'd be easier to teach an auto mech heart surgery than to change your mind. Fair travels, Ellie. Okay. They obviously know each other. Groundbreaker's a small town in a big ship, and anyone who spends any time here gets to know Jun Lei. We don't see a lot of competent surgeons on Groundbreaker. Dr. Fenhill is my on-again, off-again freelancer. I take it she'll be joining your crew full-time? I don't like to put a label on things. Let's keep it casual. If you ever decide to settle down, there's a home for you on Groundbreaker. Okay, well, let's introduce Parvati. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking, I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if, well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Not a problem, Captain. Ask away. Okay. Uh, let's ask about the heat problem. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. And you have been able, unable to fix them. Why? Only the board has access to new parts. And I won't let them swindle me into a corner. Seems like it might be bad for business to cause this amount of trouble. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Okay, well we can help with that, probably. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Well, I've heard about the back bays. Might have business there. Hold on. There's something you should know before you go charging off. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. Okay. Um, have you tried sending anyone else down there to get the parts? I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. 
That's fine. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Right, so there will be some resistance then. Probably can't talk our way out of it. Those idiots are immune to reason. And they don't much care if the station melts to pieces. They're content to die last. If you could find some way to solve this without violence, I'd prefer that. But more than anything, we need those parts. All right. Great. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Okay. So, it's an interesting sphere. Uh, we're going to have to end the episode here. Once again, a little bit of overtime there. Um, and we'll pick this back up as usual in the next one. So, I will see you then.